We all stop by traffic signals so many times in a day, but have you ever wondered how the red light systems work? So in this video, you are going to find out exactly that. Red light systems rely on some sophisticated technology, but conceptually they are very simple. The system includes only three essential elements, one or more cameras, one or more triggers, and a computer. In a typical system, cameras are positioned at the corners of an intersection on poles a few yards high. The cameras point inward, so they can photograph cars driving through the intersection. Generally, a red light system has cameras at all four corners of an intersection to photograph cars going in different directions and get pictures from different angles. Some systems use film cameras, but most newer systems use digital cameras. There are a number of trigger technologies, but they all serve the same purpose. They detect when a car has moved past a particular point in the road. Red light systems typically have two induction loop triggers positioned under the road near the stop line. The computer is the brains behind the operation. It is wired to the cameras, the triggers and the traffic light circuit itself. The computer constantly monitors the traffic signals and triggers. If a car sets off a trigger when the light is red, the computer takes two pictures to document the violation. The first picture shows the car just on the edge of the intersection and the second picture shows the car in the middle of the intersection. The main trigger technology used in the red light systems is the induction loop. An induction loop trigger is the length of an electric wire buried just under the asphalt. Usually, the wire is laid out in a couple of rectangular loops resting on top of each other. This wire is hooked up to an electrical power source and a meter. If you have read how electromagnets work, you know that when you send electrical current through a wire, it generates a magnetic field. Positioning the wire in concentric loops, as in any electromagnet, amplifies this field. The meter in the system constantly monitors the total inductance level of the circuit. When the inductance changes significantly, the computer recognizes this shift and knows that a car has passed over the loop. This is the most common trigger mechanism, but it's not the only one in use. Some areas have had success with radar, laser, or air tube sensors. One emerging trigger mechanism in the video loop. In this system, a computer analyzes a video feed from the intersection. As the computer receives each new video frame, it checks for substantial changes at specific points in the image. The computer is programmed to recognize the particular changes that indicate a car moving through the intersection. If the light is red and the computer recognizes this sort of change, it activates the still cameras. The main advantage of the system is you don't have to dig up the road to install it and you can adjust the trigger areas at any time. Essentially, it is a virtual inductive loop trigger. So guys, that was all the technology that runs the red light systems. So next time you're stuck in traffic, you'll exactly know how these lights are working. Hope you found the video interesting. Until next time, goodbye.